Hey guys, the second most common question I have is how I afford magic cards and how can I just go ahead and you know buy magic cards and not really care too much. So if I like a magic card, especially if it's an altar, I'll go ahead and get it commissioned. I will give away the altar sometimes. Um, and you know, I like that type of stuff. That's I like unique cards that I have not seen before or have um, that are, you know, by definition, they're one of a kind because they're commissioned for you or they're harder to find. So something like a foil Gideon appeals to me, although it might not be the best financial decision, but it does appeal to me. I might trade for it or buy it. Now, so obviously I do have a job and I am, I would say I'm pretty educated. So on Facebook, I'm sure some of my Facebook fans have seen or are they card fans? They just like the page. Some of the people who like the Facebook page have seen what I do as a professional and I've talked to them and a lot of you guys are kind of interesting. You guys have a lot of interesting jobs and I love talking with you guys about uh, just life in general, not just Magic the Gathering, although I do give you financial advice as well about Magic the Gathering. <laughs> it's so weird to say that. But yeah, I am a graphic designer. I am a marketer and I own my own marketing company. Uh, the marketing company obviously is located in Houston. There's an office. It's a real marketing company and I get to work with my friends, which is nice. But at the end of the day, uh, because I am kind of an owner of it, so I do own the largest piece of it from any partner, I there's responsibilities, right? And I work pretty much a ton. That's why it's I make all these videos. I The way I make videos is very efficient. I just make them all in one go for this channel and the other channel. So I just sit down and just Blah, 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 blah. And then now I edit a little bit. So I make less videos, but I have more time to edit. So I also am co-founder of a software. So the software has an investor. It has legs, if you will, uh, in investor terms. So yeah, and then I do a lot of volunteer work. I still am volunteering, not as much now because it's been a little bit busy. Holiday season is when people need marketing. So we tend to be more busy during holiday season. So I have a, a job, I'm co-founder of a software program with a investor. I have the ability, so I don't have time. That's the thing I have least of. So when I'm having fun with friends, to me, because I don't have that much time, if I can maximize my fun time in, uh, maximize my fun in that time be, via like opening up Brewster Box or just playing Legacy or playing, I still play Legacy, I still love it. It's gonna die, but I love it, and I know it's gonna die. Or playing Modern or doing something like that, I can do that. Um, so for people who may not have much money and who have more time, I do envy that because I don't play as much Magic as I want to play, and that's because I have to work a lot. So f &M, the last time I played Magic was real life Magic, so I did play Magic Online, which I try not to tell people about that because <laughs> it's embarrassing for me. As a graphic designer, the UI and UX, and then all the development code as well. So I'm also full stack JavaScript developer and a PHP developer as well. So I do a little bit of, uh, essentially, I mean, when you have a marketing company, you have to do everything, like it's on you to do everything, PPC, SEO, Mark, like, like I've gone into great detail about this on my Facebook as well as my other YouTube channel of like what I do. And I do it at a very high level. Um, if I told you what I invoice that, you wouldn't believe me. So we'll leave it at that. Anyway, so Magic, I don't know, I would much rather have time to play Magic than to have the money to play Magic once in a while. The last time I played Magic was in game day. I had a lot of fun. I always have the same game day crew, uh, Jeremy, Mike, and now Steven. And we always have, I always have a blast in game day because it's the same people and we go to the same stores and we go store hopping. And then we do Saturday and Sunday. But because of my current uh, schedule and current workload, I don't have the time to play Magic very much. And uh, partially why um, I decided to make less videos uh, was A, to, so I can edit them, and B, because I just don't have the time to do so. And as I continue on and get more and more clients, it's going to be more difficult to make videos. I love making videos for you guys. I think it's important um, to do so because I have a perspective, in my opinion, that is a little different 
So I'm not a full time. You know, I, magic is a hobby to me. I've always viewed it as a hobby. I'm not on a network. I'm not sponsored. I do not receive free product. And I've many people have offered me free product. And I have a video where I show like all these links. And that's just part of them. That was like the ones in last month. Many people want to sponsor it. Many people want, um, and mainly because in marketing terms, it makes a lot of sense because I'm unsponsored. I'm not on a network. So rather than have to be on a channel, like there's a channel that is um, about the same size as a little smaller than mine. And he's got like eight sponsors or like six different sponsors. And it's like, if I was, so I do, again, I do marketing. Um, if I was looking for a channel and they, you know, my channel is a little more aggressive and we're not pro Wizards of the Coast all the time. But if we were like that channel and crop comparable in that channel, um, my channel actually has like a lot more views. So it does have like upside. Then I would rather be the only store advertising on uh, one channel than be on two different channels and have six to compete against five different stores. Because then that's not... I think at, at some point, if you have too many sponsorships, it just seems like um, it just seems like you don't really care that much, and you're just you know you're just taking. I mean, you're just uh, and you know that's my personal opinion. That is my personal opinion. I've never joined a network. I would never join a network. Um, sponsorships, like if a friend wants me to talk about their product, like uh, Stratastrike or something, I did his stuff for free. I will do um, fan face stuff eventually. I make her a video for free. I will do pages stuff for free. I will, I don't ask for any money to do those videos. Now the whole HQ thing, I gave the money back to him straight in a playmat. I have that playmat for proof. So like what? I don't exactly know why he accused me of doing that, but because the money went straight back, and I asked him. I have email proof or some type of text message proof. Hey, what do you want me to do with it? You know, I don't want it. You can have it. I can refund. I asked him, do you want me to refund it or do you want me to buy a playmat? He said, buy a playmat. So all the stuff on this channel is pretty much like, you know, I don't view it as I do marketing for a full-time job. I'm not going to market on this channel. It just doesn't seem, I'm making these videos at 4 a.m. at night. There's no reason for me to join a network. There's no reason for me to seek sponsorship or accept. I mean, I had some really good ones. Magic Duels, for instance, was a sponsor until they crashed like the night after. And I had, um, who else do we have? We had like this person who made like perfect sleeves or something. And then we had, of course, the Switzerland and Bezalement fund where you, everyone sends magic cards to Switzerland and we pay them $166,000 and Kickstarter and we hope that they don't steal our magic cards. Like, that wasn't a good one. That was just an example. Like, monthly magic box, no way in hell would I ever respond. Like, I would be like, hmm, you know, it seems like you're buying product from Dave and Adams and you're saying that the product is worth $25 when I can buy it for like five bucks. And now everyone on YouTube is saying it's $25. I wonder why. Anyway, that's not to like take away. Like, I love the community. It's just my personal pet peeves about um, having worked in marketing. I understand what the objective is and the objective. No one's going to sponsor you unless they feel like you're going. What money they pay you, you're going to be able to produce four times that amount of money, especially on YouTube. Because I've done it on the marketing side, where you pay people to sponsor products and you pay them a lot of money, and your hope is that they will somehow produce more money, more profits than you paid them. Otherwise, you're not doing good marketing. Bye, guys.